In today's video, we will be playing a special edition St. Patty's Day version of Hello Honey, and it is called Irish You A Lucky Day. Completing and unstuffing my lower budget version of the 100 envelope savings challenge, adding a little bit to these savings challenges, and introducing a whole new savings binder. Let's get into it. Okay, so happy St. Patty's Day to everyone. Today, Jason and I are just gonna be hanging out in the pool and trying to relax after all of the craziness of moving across the country. And I hope you all have some fun plans today as well. Let's get into this video and start counting some cash. So today I have $311 to stuff into the savings challenges. Let's count it up. 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 280, 290, 300, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 311 dollars. Let's see, what should we do first? Let's complete and unstuff this 100 envelope savings challenge binder. And if you watched last week, you know that I unstuffed my regular version of the 100 envelope challenge. It wasn't 100% complete, but it was so close and I needed to pay for the moving pod. So I emptied that out and I paid for that. Now, of course, completing a challenge is amazing, but having no debt, that is the ultimate goal. So that challenge was emptied out, used it to pay for the pod instead of using a credit card, and I was very happy about that. So let's see what I have left to complete this challenge. Okay, as you can see, I have some of these top numbers up here to complete. And what we do with the lower budget version of this challenge is you add the numbers together. One plus three is actually $4 instead of 13. You add all the numbers together, and stuff that amount in the envelopes. So let's add up the numbers that I have left and see how much I owe to finish this out today. Okay, so I need $144 to add to this game. So let's get that. One hundred and twenty, forty, one, two, three, four. So we're gonna put that up here, and I'm not gonna bother putting it in the envelope since I'm just gonna take it right back out. And let's start unstuffing these pockets. Now, if you'll notice, if you're new, some of these have the fully funded cards in them. That just means that the money for this pocket is mixed in with a different one. And these let me know that this one has already been stuffed. So let's go ahead and unstuff. Okay, I'm not sure why I was pulling the fully funded cards out at first, but after a while I realized I don't need those. I just need the cash. So this money is also going to be going towards moving expenses. As most of you know, and as I mentioned earlier in the video, we did move across the country and that cost quite a bit. Now I haven't been able to film a cash stuffing video for two weeks, so keep an eye out for that. I will get more into detail about the budget and how the move has affected some of that. So let's get this organized. Okay, let's add the 144 from today. And let's count this up. I think it is supposed to be $910. I think, you guys, my brain is so fried, but guess what? We're gonna find out. Let's count this up and see if $910 is correct. One, two, three, four, five. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 
and you already know I'm gonna speed up these ones. Sixty six, and I found a five in there. Okay, so that gave me a nine sixteen. I don't think that's right. I think it's supposed to be either nine oh one or nine ten. Somehow I ended up with a little over, but I know it's not supposed to be nine sixteen. But either way, it's over instead of under, so I'm okay with that. I have nine hundred and sixteen dollars to put towards my moving expenses thanks to the lower budget 100 envelope challenge. And like I said, I will get into this a little bit more in my cash stuffing video later this week. And just real quick before I forget, this binder is now available on Etsy again. I had to turn off any of the physical products that I mail while we were moving, but they are now back up. It comes in a bunch of different colors, so check this out if you haven't gotten yourself a 100 envelope savings challenge yet. I actually really like this binder because you can do the regular 100 envelope challenge. You can do the lower budget one like you just saw me do. You could even challenge yourself to put a dollar in each one and save $100. You could do $5 in each one and save $500. You can do this completely cashless using the fully funded cards. There's just a million different ways to do this one. So if you're new to savings challenges, this is a really good one to start with just for that reason. It has so many different options for you guys. So now that both versions of my 100 envelope challenge is done, I'm going to start focusing the money I was putting into these into this. And this is the new savings challenge binder that I wanted to show you guys today for the MVB and the scratch off club. This was one of the savings challenges that April made for the club and I love it. Each A6 tracker has a different amount for you to save. This one is one, five, 10, 20. This one is varied, it's a bunch of different ones. And then this one, you can fill it out yourself. So my goal now is to fill up all of these envelopes. And last week, when I showed this to you guys, I checked off two of these $20 ones for $40. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that so that I don't waste this tracker. And on the varied one, I'm gonna go ahead and add 11 into that one, and we can mark this one off. Yeah, actually, while I was filming that video last week, I commented on my own video <laughs> how you could use these trackers and make a whole new binder, and I liked my own idea, obviously. So that is what I'm gonna do. And I'm curious to see how much all of this adds up to. And we won't know until I fill that out. So everybody's will be different. And the other thing I'm gonna focus the 100 envelope challenge money on is Save 10 Journey. I have not added to this in quite a while and I found it in the binder and I was like, Jen, you forgot all about your Save 10 Journey. I've had a lot on my mind, you guys. So the first thing I need to do is I put this little tiny note in here. Actually, I think this is Jason's handwriting. I was counting and he was writing the amount. $200 was in this envelope when we left California. So I have to put it back. And I should have 10 ones, 10 fives, 10 tens, and two twenties, totaling $200. So let's make sure that's what I have. Two twenties, 10. 10 and 10. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 90, 10. Perfect. So I do have $200. So let's go ahead and put this back in the envelope. Obviously what we did was we emptied out all of the cash envelopes and put it in the bank before we left. And now it is time to put it all back. And I'm very excited to do that with you guys. 
So today I'm just gonna add 150 and I'm gonna put a little one up there at the top. So I know that I have one of the 1050s that I'm going to need. So now I have 250 in Save 10 Journey. So these two challenges are now going to be getting the bulk of my savings challenge money every week instead of the 100 envelope challenges. I'm gonna switch it up. Okay, everybody, it is now time to play our St. Patty's Day special version of Hello, Honey. But before we play, if you're new to Two Sister Bees, how we play is every Sunday here on the channel, we play a completely different game. We do it together. The tracker that we use to keep track of how much we save each week is down below for you guys to click and print out so you can start playing Hello, Honey right now. But before we do that, I owe this tracker for the last two weeks. We played Pool Hoops with Jason, and we also played last week Destiny is All with Uhtred. So let's see how much I owe. I take up all of your comments below. 167 of you let me know that you saved a total of $3,414 two Sundays ago for an average of $21. So let's write that down. And then for Destiny is All, we had 111 comments. I think that most of you were more concerned with commenting how cute Uhtred was. <laughs> you forgot to tell me how much you saved, but that's okay. I still averaged it out for a total of $13. So for the two games combined, I owe Hello Honey $34. $34. And let's see what the little piece of paper says for Hello Honey. What did I have in here? Okay, I had $45. I actually forgot about this one and I did not put that money to the side. So we're gonna put the 34 in there for now. And next Sunday, I will make sure that all of these get restuffed. Okay, now that I'm all paid up, on Hello Honey, let's play. As I said, today's version is called Irish You, A Lucky Day. And I love using the colors of the rainbow for the St. Paddy's Day games on Hello Honey. And how we are going to play today, using all of the colors of the rainbow, red, yellow, orange, blue, green, and purple, we are going to think of popular sayings or phrases that have those colors as part of the saying. You're gonna need a pen and paper to write them down, so get those ready. And I will give you a hint for each one. We will do two sayings or phrases for each color. And you're probably saying, I still don't get it. And I kind of figured, so let's do a practice one. And this one is gonna be for the color red. And the hint is, if you are negative in your checking account, you would be considered what? If you're negative in your checking account, you would be considered what? The answer is in the red, right? Okay, so hopefully the practice one helped you out on how to play. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys got it? I think this one's gonna be fun. Stick with me. So two sayings for each color is 12 total opportunities to save today. Decide now how much you want each correct answer to be worth. You can make them a quarter each, a dollar, five, ten, whatever you are willing to challenge yourself with. But wait, one more thing for today's saving. For some extra fun, let's add the bonus round into the game today. Last week, Uhtred had all of us stumped with his choices. So many of you commented on how he got you. Just like our longtime subby, Mariah's Whole New World, she said in the comments last week, truthfully, I didn't guess any of the things for Hello Honey, so I just decided to save $15 for this week. And I responded to Mariah saying, Uhtred got everyone good on this video. He was telling us that he controls his own destiny. Yes, our little buddy does what he wants. And you guys, when he chose Jason over me, oh my goodness, I could not believe it. But then I thought, I think he associates Jason as his playmate. So 
I guess I can understand, but I'll tell you what, if he chose anyone else over me, I would be very sad. Okay, back to this game. Since last week, so many of you got Uhtred's choices wrong, let's say that the bonus round is this. For every wrong answer, save a different amount. So now you're saving either way, whether you are wrong or right, all 12 rounds. Make your right answers worth whatever you want and make your wrong answers worth whatever you want. You got it? And while we're playing this game, believe me guys, if you need a minute to just think, pause the video and think about it for a minute before we continue on. Okay, let's get started and we're gonna stick with the red. And number one, the hint is, when someone is really giving you the special treatment, they are said to be, when someone is really giving you the special treatment, they are said to be what? Okay, number two for the color red. When you go and you have a great night out with your friends, you are all said to be what? When you go out and have a great night with your friends, all of you are said to be doing what? Okay, you guys, next is the color orange. Hint number one, when you are comparing two things that are not the same, you are doing what? Something with the word orange in it. When you're comparing two things that aren't the same, you are what? Okay, number two, if you have a sudden attraction or infatuation with someone, you are said to have a what? If you have a sudden attraction or infatuation with someone, you have a what? Okay, let's move on to yellow. Okay, and yellow's hint number one. If you are on a path to a promised land of all of your hopes and dreams, you are said to be on what? If you are on a path to a promised land of all of your hopes and dreams, you are said to be on this. Okay, number two. Okay, so for the color yellow, number two is actually a two part. And here's the first one. If you are a scared or cowardly person, you are what? If you're scared or cowardly, you are and the second part, if you are a very chill or relaxed person, you would be called, chill and relaxed people are called. Okay, next is blue. Hint number one, if something is happening to you and it happened out of nowhere, it is said to be this. Something is happening to you and it happened out of nowhere. It is this. Hint number two, if something only happens once in a while, that is called this. If something only happens once in a while, this would be considered what? Okay, you guys, next color up is green. Hint number one, if you are really good with plants, you are said to have a what? If you're really good with plants, you have a... Okay, hint number two for the color green. When you think someone else's situation or life looks better than your own, you are thinking that the what? When you think someone else's situation or life looks better than yours, you are thinking that the what? Okay, you guys, this is it. This is the last color and I saved my favorite for last and that is the color purple. Okay, purple, let's see what we have. How are you guys thinking that you're doing so far? 
Well, I'm actually gonna mix this one up a little bit. No bonus round, but we still have to make it more interesting in the end. So for purple, since I told you it's my favorite color, I want you to decide, do you think purple is the most favorited color around the world, or do you think it's the least favorited color around the world? Is purple the most favorite or least favorite? Okay, let's get to these answers and see how we did. Okay, number one was red. When someone is giving you the special treatment, they are rolling out the red carpet. Special treatment is rolling out the red carpet. Number two, when you go out and have a great night with your friends, you guys are painting the town red. Painting the town red. Okay, next up is orange. When you're comparing two things that are not the same, you're comparing apples to oranges. Comparing apples to oranges. Number two, if you have a sudden attraction to someone, you are said to have an orange crush. An orange crush. Okay, and for yellow, if you are on a path to the promised land, you are said to be on the yellow brick road. The yellow brick road. And now the two part for yellow is if you're a scared or cowardly person, you are called yellow bellied, yellow bellied. And if you are a very chill or relaxed person, you would be called mellow yellow, mellow yellow. All right, let's see how you did for blue. If something is happening to you and it happened out of nowhere, that is out of the blue, out of the blue. Number two, if something only happens once in a while, that would be once in a blue moon. Okay, now we're on to green's answers. If you're really good with plants, what do you got? A green thumb, green thumb. And if you think someone else's situation or life looks better than yours, you're thinking, thinking, <laughs> it's not true. The grass is greener on the other side. You're thinking the grass is greener. Okay, so for the last one, purple. Did you think it was the most favorited or the least favorited? You guys, it's the least favorited color around the world. What? I was so surprised. It comes in as the least liked color of all of the colors of the rainbow. So in the comments below, tell me your favorite color. And as always, tell me how much you saved for Hello Honey this week. I need your answers for the little teapot here. And I also want to know that I'm not the only person on the planet who likes purple. I know one of you likes purple, Miss April Budgets. Purple is her favorite color as well. So at least I know I'm not completely alone. How many more of you love the color purple? Put your favorite color and how much you saved today. And a little side note, I actually found a quick little read on what your chosen favorite color says about you and it's pretty accurate. I put it in the description below so you can see what your favorite color says about you. And it was kind of fun because I asked Jason what his favorite color was and I read off to him what it meant about him. So get your kids and your partner and ask them what their favorite color is and read about them too. It is a fun little thing. As I said, Jason's matched him and mine actually matched me. So I thought it was pretty cool. That's down below for you guys if you wanna check it out. So next up is In Line to Shine. And this one, I've completed these two top rows and they were worth two and four dollars. So the next one, each one you add an extra two, we're challenging ourselves to just go a little bit higher for each row, an extra two dollars. This row is now going to be worth six dollars. And today I'm gonna color in two. And we're gonna add six plus six for 12. And again, this has a little piece of paper in it. I didn't even think about these smaller games for some reason. It had 45. Next week, it will have the 45 plus the 12. Next up is my words of affirmation. Okay, so I'm on the R and the S. I've been doing two a week, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that. And the words that I chose this week describe myself are resourceful, 
and smart. I am resourceful and smart. Do you guys see how I'm kind of on a on a double thing here? Neat and organized was one week. Peaceful and quiet was another. Resourceful and smart is today's. I see a pattern. I know you do too. So let's add these up and see what I owe. Each letter is one. Vowels are worth two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen dollars. And smart is one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, I don't know how smart I am, but <laughs> of course I would do this. I miscounted. Oh my goodness, what a funny one to do that to. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take, okay, here's where the resourceful part comes in. Remember I was a little over on my 100 envelope challenge. I can take two bucks from that, right? And call it even. So I am resourceful. That one we can definitely say. No, you guys, I'm smart too. I just have been under so much. Uh, I don't want to use the word stress because I don't think it's that bad. But every day I just feel like I cannot catch up with moving, unpacking, getting everything situated. You guys, it is so much work. So yeah. My brain is seriously a little fried. 173 is what my words of affirmation had in it when I left California. And we're adding 22 today. And the last thing I wanna do today is this. Okay, so I had one of you, Latanya Carr 411, she asked about this bingo game from a past Hello Honey. And I thought about how many of the newbies we have in the hive, and they probably missed this one. This is a freebie linked below, available for you. You can just go ahead and print it out. And the reason I did this game was because I was thinking about how sometimes when we begin this idea to start saving our money, who do we skimp on first? Do we stop buying what we need for the house? No. <laughs> Maybe we start skimping on what our kids need. Ha ha, I thought you guys would like that one. No, of course not. It's always ourselves. We immediately go to what we can cut out that we're doing for ourselves that is costing us money. Us ladies are deleting Etsy and pushing out our root touch-up appointments. Guys, you're probably out there putting off buying the latest gadget or whatever it is that you guys do with your money. I don't know. The point is it's always ourselves, right? Well, that's okay because you are seeing the bigger picture, thinking about being debt free, maybe owning your car. The freedom is truly priceless, but so are you. And these little self-care reminders on this bingo do not cost a thing. And all of these are just a little daily reminder to be good to you. You're not gonna be able to stick with this if you're cranky, <laughs> no one wants that. So here with this game, we can combine the saving and remember the little things. And Latanya, as I said, was wondering how this works. So let's just see how Two Sister Bees Bingo goes. Okay, so I'm gonna use yesterday as my example since it was a full day. And yesterday, did I read anything? Yes, I did actually. 15 minute break, I did. I took a few 15 minute breaks because you guys, I'm still unpacking. I just unpacked all of this stuff for Two Sister Bees yesterday. Did I drink three glasses of water? Yep, I walked a couple times yesterday with Uhtred. Did I relax? I did, at the end of the night, yes I did. Healthy meal, hmm. Did I have a healthy meal yesterday? I can't even remember what I ate. I don't think I did have a healthy meal. Compliment myself. Eh, probably not. I was wearing uh, old sweatpants and an old Stanford t-shirt yesterday. So um, yeah, I don't think I was complimenting myself. Sing, probably. You guys, I'm always singing some, I don't even know, crazy song. Wake up early. Yes, I did laugh. I tell you guys every time I live with Jason, I laugh constantly. Call a friend. That is my sister. No doubt about it. Give thanks always. 
watch the sunrise or sunset. I did actually, and I specifically remember when the sun was coming up, I said to Jason, here comes the sun. <laughs> so I did watch the sunrise stretch. This is always the one that I skip. No, I did not. And I did not dance for five minutes. I need to start doing that. Long shower, no. Six hours of sleep, over six hours of sleep. I'm gonna say no. Power nap, no. No spend day yesterday, I don't, no, I didn't go anywhere. So yes, I did have a no spend day. Smile at a stranger, yes, no. Yes, I did. There was a lady that was talking to my neighbor sitting in her car and she was admiring Uhtred. So of course I smiled and said hello to her. Unplug for 15 minutes, yes. Take vitamins, no. I forgot to take my vitamins yesterday. Compliment someone else, yes. I know I told Jason he was cute. Skincare routine. No, <laughs> I skipped that. I know I did. I'm not even going to try to pretend that I did it. Okay, so this is what we do. All of the ones that you checked off, good job. The ones that you didn't, you are going to take the amounts that are down here in the lower right-hand corner. You're going to add them all up. Let's see what I got. Okay, so all together, I owe this game $3.25. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write today's date. And I'm filming on Saturday so that you guys can watch this on Sunday. So today is actually three sixteen, And I owe three twenty-five. And what you can do is keep track for an entire week. So I would do this each day until next Saturday and I could add it all up and put it in my envelope. And playing this one will hopefully help you to see which ones you're skipping. And I always do, I always skip the skincare routine. I always skip the stretch, the healthy meal. Sometimes I'm not eating very well. So this will kind of give you an inclination as to what you can do for yourself that you aren't doing already that will help you feel better. And that's how you play Two Sister Bees Bingo. And thank you, LaTanya, for asking. Okay, everybody, don't forget that budgeting and cash stuffing video is coming up later this week. And you guys can see where I am after that big move. And I also have a surprise for you guys on that video. Yay. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the surprise. And scratch off club members. All of your items are here. I got my nails cut down today so I can put those packets together easier and faster for you guys. I want to get them out for you. I know you're all excited. So be on the lookout. But in the meantime, Let's play an oldie but a goodie. A lot of my newbies have probably never seen it and there's lots of good info right here.